Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow, and in this video, we're going to be finishing up our MailChimp organizational tool series in which we reviewed groups, segments, and now this final video on tags. If you haven't watched the previous videos, that's okay. I'm creating a playlist for them. You'll probably see a link over here somewhere with them. And uh, if you if you can, please watch the groups one. That was the first one in which I defined what are groups, segments, and tags for MailChimp. But briefly, tags are labels. It's something that you apply internally to your subscribers slash customers so that you are able to organize them a little bit better. So let's say you have uh, an influencer label or an ebook label, that type of thing. So we're going to explore tags today. I'm going to show you how you set them up and how you can email someone that has that particular tag and also do some automation, which is really cool. Stay tuned. It's coming up. So if you've been following along, you know how we start. We always go to our audience tab. I've skipped the dashboard part. We go right to the, our audience tab up here in the top uh, center here. And then we're going to select on manage audience on the right. And we're going to click on manage contacts. And then for manage contacts, we can either click on this uh, list here or we can click on the drop down list here. I don't know why they repeat themselves here, but I'll click on tags here. And you notice here that I have a tag created called ebook. Now this tag is connected to a plugin that I'm using on my WordPress website in which I can add a tag so that anyone that signs up for my ebook gets a tag called ebook. How original. <laughs> but that way I know where that person came from. So it's an internal organizational tool in which I know that that person came from or downloaded my ebook. Make sense? So that's the way you got to start thinking about tags. They're labels that you apply to your subscribers. To create a tag, simply click on create tag, enter your tag name. We'll use one of their examples and click create. If you're thinking about doing a bulk tag contacts, you can do it two ways. One is to upload or import your email addresses or paste in email addresses that you're adding to your list and add a specific tag. So you just do donor and then add in uh, upload or paste in your email addresses. That's one way to do it. If you have an existing list, you go to view contacts, click this little down arrow over here and it'll say select the visible or select all. So we could do select visible you notice here that the navigation has changed. So you can select uh, an existing tag that we already have, or you can create a new tag here as well. So we'll just call it tag, click on the tag tag, not to be redundant. And then you'll see here on this column here under tags, we notice that everyone has been given a tag of tag. How matter is that? So you get the idea here. Now, the other way you can do it is individually going into your subscriber. So I'll click on me. You'll see here that I have the tag tag. And so I can add one or I can delete the one I'm already in. So that's how you manually do it for each individual subscriber. Also going back to the list, you can just select the ones that you want to apply the tag to. So it doesn't have to be all or just what's visible. You can just select the individuals that you want to apply the certain tag. So that's what you kind of have to realize here is that once you create the tag, you have to find a way in which to apply that tag. So you can do it like this manually. So when a person joins individually, you can go in there and say, okay, uh, uh, give them that tag. Uh, or you could do it in bulk like I just showed you or you can do it through, uh, if you're using WordPress, like a plugin, like I was saying before, that the Ibera code uh, allows you to add tags on the premium version. So you have to think about tags in that way. It's not as automated as segments are, so it's not if this, then that. It's not a filter. 
it's a, a specific tag that you have to go and label your subscribers. So it's a little bit more effort, but much more finite control that you can apply to your subscriber list. So let's go take a look at that setup that I have real quickly on my website. So here is the MailChimp for uh, WordPress. Uh, it's again by Abericode, and here is the form settings. And uh, I'll leave a link to them below in the description. It's not an affiliate thing or anything. Uh, it's just that I have stuck with them for a few years now, and and it works. So here you can see the subscriber tag of ebook, and that's how the people getting into the my subscriber list with the ebook tag. Now once you've created your tags, what you can do is go to your campaigns again and uh, click your create campaign, click the email, just like you would before with segments, do a test, begin, add recipient, choose your audience again, and then for the segments, here it says segments or tags, you click on uh, tags and you'll see here our new one that we just created called test. So we select that, uh, we click save and I'll say it'll go to so many, uh, 10 recipients. There you go. So that's how you can quickly uh, send out specific campaigns to your tagged subscribers. Another way you can do it is by automation. So if we go back to campaigns, I'll click finish later on that, go back to create click on email, click on automated, and now we can say email your tagged contacts. So you can say, all right, well, let me select my audience and I'll click begin. And now it's sort of like the automation that you have regularly with your email automation, uh, but now it's specific to a tag. See here it says, please select a tag in this case. So you click edit and then uh, use your time frame, whatever it is, and then select your tag. So in this case, it'll be test. And then you click on update trigger, create your email that you wanna go out through the automation process and oh, you go. If you want more information on automation, click the link that's above you right now. So I did a video on that that will help you out. So there you go guys, that is a quick look at tags on MailChimp and it's the last in the series of organizational tools that MailChimp offers to better control you and manage your subscriber list. Uh, I hope these videos have been useful. Again, if you have any comments or questions on MailChimp tags, uh, segments or groups, post in the comments below. If you're enjoying this type of content, please click the subscribe button and also that bell icon so that you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.